All right, what's up guys? I wanted to take show you guys, take a little bit of time and show you guys these two fantastic bills that we found uh, while um, banknote hunting at the bank. Uh, yesterday we went and we were just gonna take a box of quarters back. That was 500, you know, we saw a bunch of ones sitting there. We we're like, hey, let's just flip through some ones. So we decided, we flipped through that $500 about four times, I believe, until we finally bought our box of quarters. Uh, in which we got a really badass error coin out of there, and we'll show you that later, so stay tuned for that. Uh, first off, as you can see here, we got a 1953 uh, A Red Seal. Um, there's actually nothing really too fantastic about this bill, other than the fact that it is old and it's a Red Seal. That is... Um, that's really awesome. The lady had told me uh, now in line, so I go to I, go, I was looking around and I said, "Hey, do you have any of these? Do you have any of those? Uh, any kind of old bills or anything like that?" And she goes, "Oh, you like old bills? Well, I had these fives, and she went all the way to the back, bless her heart, and uh, went through back into the safe and like found the ones that she had. Like she was so curious about them, and then ended up selling them to me. Um, so." A uh, red seal like this, you can find them on eBay uh, anywhere from, in this condition, $10 to $12. Sometimes more, you know, for nicer ones, they can go up to like $25. But uh, one thing that I really wanted to point out to you guys is um, this nice green seal right here. Now, upon further inspection of this green seal, I found that it in every way, form, or fashion has earned the right to be uh, an extra fine, almost uncirculated, I mean almost uh, uh, AU, um, but an extra fine grade, it would almost be worth sitting in to get graded because of the fact that um, you have got a really nice fancy trinary serial number here. Now what a trinary serial number is, is uh, a um, where there's only three digits, three separate digits in the entire serial number. So here we have sevens, zeros, and threes, okay? So binary would be uh, quite a bit better. Um, we have some binary bills here that I can show you, in which uh, they're all sevens and zeros. Uh, I'll actually show you this here in a second uh, on our next video. And uh, so not only is it trinary, but we have the 7,000, and then we have 3773, which is um, what they would call like a radar, you know, that, that 7337. Uh, so it's kind of inverted there. But anyway, it's not a radar if it would be if it was all of the numbers, like 37011073. You know, kind of deal like that. Uh, but what we have here is a very, very nice. This one here had to have been in somebody's personal collection. It, you can see that it was folded a long time ago, actually. It was folded. Uh, and so there's what they call the difference between the designation I found between an extra fine and a uh, almost uncirculated is actually the amount of folds. If it was folded one, one crease in the middle, um, that would... Uh, um, that would be a designation for uh, almost uncirculated. Not not the only thing, but one of them, you know. But if it has more than one crease in the middle, that puts it down into an extra fine, which this one has a classic three crease where they folded it here and then folded it again, and you have a crease, bam, bam. Um, so, and we only have two corners that were ever folded, okay? This corner down here was folded once, and this corner over here was folded once. This is an amazing bill, guys. 1950, this sat in somebody's collection. Unfortunately, probably robbed. Nobody who would save a 1950s bill like this uh, with such a very nice fancy serial number would just take it back to the bank. Um, but this is a beautiful score to get at the bank. I, I, this is probably, by far now, possibly our most valuable bill um, that we have found out of all of them. Uh, I found price ranges for just fives in this condition, uh, upwards of $19 to $25. Now, with fancy serial numbers and going not only just fancy, but going into a trinary, um, there is sales of bills like this for over $100. Um, I think I could easily place a value on this bill at probably around $50 to $75. Uh, what do I expect to get for it? It is up at, uh, on, uh, for auction on eBay right now. 
and uh, so I did put a $10 minimum um, start bid uh, just to make sure no fluke accidents happen and I end up trying to sell a five dollar bill for two dollars uh, and if it doesn't sell that way then we will uh, put it up um, for um, uh, buy it now price and just let it sit sometimes you know uh, rarities and things like this are better sitting in a buy it now because people you know the person the right person who's looking for it um, may not be looking for it at that particular time when you're having the auction so I've had things go to auction two or three times before and then put them up for a buy it now and gotten more than what I would hope for at an auction. Um, because for one reason, there's no other bills like this available on uh, eBay. So you don't have any other trinary $5 bills uh, from 1950. This is the only one. So um, that makes it a, a, a pretty nice bill, guys. This is a great score um, and uh, we didn't buy fives. But we did buy these, we bought these for face value obviously at the bank. And um, so, really nice score there. So as you can see, uh, this is our eBay store down here, PZ Coins, you guys can go and check it out. Uh, we've got, what, we guys, what we're doing guys, is we are specializing for y'all in just raw coins and raw bills. Meaning that yes, in a coin shop, you'd pay three, four, five times value. We are selling ungraded coins that you guys get to see us find, and um, uh, you know, giving them to you guys for a great value that you can go and sit and get graded. Um, this is a perfect example of a bill to go get graded. This this bill will be extremely expensive in the years to come uh, if it stays in this condition. Would be nice.